But, uh, yeah, it's... It is, theoretically... Theoretically, I can just copy this whole thing. This whole thing, and just paste it right above. Right, right above. Uh, I'd have to do some more logistics work on, like, the uh, this stuff here. But... Realistically, if I put it horiz if I put all of this on the horizontal, like here, put all this on a horizontal, and like stuck this built on a horizontal, it would be it would be uh it would be nice. It would be it would be nice. I have I have some space. I could just make something that's somewhat squared off and just keep pasting up above. It, it and just throw as much at it as I can. Can't you copy paste the recipe in from the map view? I was I was thinking I could, yes. Uh, I was just thinking, is like, can I actually do that? Yeah, I can. Uh, if the buildings are there, you can copy paste from the map view. Uh, if I if so, here here's the the stupid thing, right? I can shift right click. I can shift right click on the building. I cannot shift left click because I can't reach it. But if I copy the building and then shift left click down, I can totally paste the recipe on these buildings from anywhere. So why can't I shift right cl click and then left click? Why can't I just shift left click on these buildings to assign the recipe I have right clicked? I can't, I can't do that, but I can totally copy the building and then shift and left click and drag over these and assign the recipes. Ah, <laughs> uh, that, that's a Factorio base game thing, by the way. That's like, that, that is a Factorio thing. Not a, uh, not a pie mods thing. Uh, so these are operating. By the way, I've got molten lead. Just, you know, casual. Casually, we've got, we've got molten lead now. There's no solid output, so that's fine. No, we do this. If we do this, we do this properly. Like so. Connect! We've got power! Now we just need to connect this power. And all of that should just function. Uh, this produces actually more than one full unit of sand castings uh, at a time. Uh, and I don't need that much. I need 0.9. This produces a little under 2. Uh, now, now, the reason why I say that this produces a little under 2, even though I've got two sand casting machines here, is that it's not exactly... 7.5 soil that's going in here. It's 7.2 soil, uh, the way that I've built this. So that's why I say it's it's not exact. It's 7.2 just because that's what's convenient for me to build. But it it works. It's giving me more than what I need. Uh, speaking of, uh, yeah, we've got we've got lead. We've got some lead. Some lead. We've got some, some amount, 40.2-ish per second of the lead. Uh, and we've got seven. <laughs> okay, uh... Sure. Oh gosh, I need more. <laughs> I need more loaders! And I'm not carrying around any loaders. Okay, off we go! Back to the bus! Slash mall. Back to the mall. I need more loaders. 
I need lots more loaders. Just uh, just a few. Also, how's my uh, nanobot ammo doing? Non-existent. Okay, so that's the other thing I need to grab here. We need loaders. May as well grab a bit more of this stuff. This stuff as well. Get rid of those. I don't need to carry any silver on me. That just clean some of this inventory while I'm here. Oh, oh, I, I noticed, I noticed a problem. I was out of termite bots. Ah, I don't want to get rid of anything else. Uh... Sure, get rid of some of the tar processing units. Uh, this, this feels this, this feels bad. Getting rid of getting rid of things from the inventory like that. Um, but I need to. They need to go away because I need other things. I need to fill my coffers with other stuffs. Bots sound horrible. Well, think of it this way: I've toned the. I've toned it down. Shall I tone it down more? And that uh, eleven percent of twenty-five percent on the volume. How many rockets have we launched already? Zero. You 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 you, you do know you get a counter once you start launching your rockets, right? I I think that's vanilla. I think that's a vanilla thing. We do get counters when we start launching rockets. Anyway, let's uh, let's finish this. Yeah, the count the counter is vanilla. So once you start launching rockets, you will get a UI element in the top right that'll that you can click on that tells you how many uh, rockets you've launched. That much that much is vanilla. And then if you have space extension, you get an additional UI that'll tell you even more about the stuff you've done and the stuff you still need to do. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be there. With that, this is pasting there, pasting there, and then something a little different uh, over here for this one. That's just going to be that. And then power, 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 power. It counts how many satellites you've launched. Yeah. Don't know why you wouldn't... You would uh, launch a rocket without a satellite, though. So, effectively, how many satellites you've launched. Maybe your first rocket will be... Uh, will be that. Um, this is... This is fine. Oh, by the way, I, I know it was in the plans to uh, to change the uh, the victory condition from launching the rocket to uh, having a, the uh, quantum computer going. How'd that turn out, King? How, how's that turned out? Is that actually a thing? Because uh, last time I was in an infinity mode save, that was totally not functional are we stacked again no we we're, we're unstacked we are we are unstacked yeah so this line is stacked 
and then it and it comes into here it splits into three and then it unstacks in these three these three are ejecting they're ejecting they're unstacking so we've got we've got unstacked and we can see by the way this is what happens with loaders these days like like I would expect all four of these to have the same number of like the all four of these should be the same, right? They're clearly not. We've clearly got a full throughput belt on these two and then another whatever left over on this other belt. All four of these should be should be identical, but they're not, which I find exceedingly weird. So King Arthur says that they that he hasn't done it yet as the quantum computer doesn't have an event. Yeah, it, you need to you need to have an event that fires to trigger the end screen. So Well, it depends. Uh, see, do you want the uh, quantum computer? It's like, do you want the first production of space science to be when the event triggers? Or do you want the actual placement of the first quantum computer to be when the event triggers? Because you could probably set something up so that it sets a flag when you first place a quantum computer. Um, but yeah, the, the way it, the loaders work is it seems to be like this, uh, clockwise processing, something, something along those lines. I'm just relieved that it's sending equal amounts to both of my bulk rail loaders. I'm just, I'm just happy that it, that each of these is identical. Each pair is identical. Yeah, someone didn't specify which one they wanted for it, whether whether it's just the placement of the quantum computer or the actual first building of space science in the quantum computer. Um, I mean... I guess also... Because I you can't really check either. Because you could you could theoretically check for the first... Uh, instance of space science, but that would also trigger on a satellite launch. Once once it returns the uh, the space science that well your space science is now greater than zero, so that would trigger the end screen. So it would have to be the first time a quantum computer makes space science through the very specific space science recipe it's it's off it's weird yeah you can check if the building has completed a craft but the building has more than one recipe that's that's the other thing it's like you have because the building also has a second recipe that isn't space science if you if you do the check on it it the the check on the craft on the building it, that, that that count doesn't know which recipe exactly it's just it's done something yeah i could do circuit conditions but this this doesn't matter so we've done this thing we've uh we've officially now obtained lead on our network lead is officially on the network lead plates are officially on the network uh, of trains the train network uh, and that's fully set up so I at least got this done in the first half of the stream as well as explain everything that's changed and discuss some of the differences between last time and this time in terms of the uh, version uh, for alien life uh, so when I go on my break in about a minute and come back we will set up the ash which should be very quick uh, and then actually get to the uh 
the stuff and the things. The actual Ulrich build. Uh, do we have stainless steel already? No. Uh, sort of, we're working towards niobium and then towards unslimed iron, and that's around the time I'll start thinking about getting the aramid for the stainless steel. That's, that's around the time I'll be thinking about that. But for now, we're halfway through the stream. Time to take a break. We'll be back in uh, a few minutes. See you all shortly. And I have returned. Welcome back. So, we've wrapped up the lead. It's going to do its thing. Um, ideally, I would add a di an additional train. I've got two spots on this depot for trains, so I can add one more. We're going to leave it at the one for now. And uh, then we're going to go and we're going to build some ash. Build the ash. Uh, I need stuff, b things, buildings, pipes. Lots of pipes. <laughs> Lots of pipes. Um, I have pipes. I have... Sinkholes. I have... Burners. I have... Gasifiers. I have... Filters. I think I have what I need. I think I have what I need. This is... <laughs> Not a lot of work. This, this is, this is, uh... Not that hard. Uh, and I have the ten electrolyzers. Okay, we're good. We're good, I have what I need. So. Right down-ish here. Plop. 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 Congratulations, we now have 15 items per second of ash. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the long and short of it. There's a bit of a... There's, there's a bit more to this, but... Uh, that's about the like easy explanation. <laughs> like this is this is the this is the easy explanation. We now we now have 15 per second of ash, uh, at a cost of 100 something ish tar per second net. So yeah, stuff. What are we what are we burning for for ash? We aren't going to burn much of anything actually. We're not we're not going to get ash through voiding of anything. Uh You are in my way. Oh, and by the way, this whole time we've been playing at 200%. How many how many people notice we're playing at game speed 200% this whole time? How many, how many noticed that I did not change it off of 100%? Shall we stay at 2 or shall we slow this down even further by going back to 1? One? 1x. One I, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice that I left it at, uh, at 200. I've been, I'd been very good at changing it back to 1 for the, for the actual streams, but I just left it at 2. <laughs> Game speed 2. So, uh, yeah, that, we got this done at game speed, too. That's uh, no wonder why I'm running into literally all of the things <laughs> uh, with the car. Like, oh, we're at, we're, we're, we're moving faster. That's why. That's why. Okay, uh, what was I here to grab again? These, these, these beautiful things. Yes, I need, uh, I need all of those. That's what I need. The, the, those are glorious things. Uh, so, with... This... Process... This process produces, in the coal gas step, a lot of flue gas. Uh, and then you get more ash out of the 
Syngas step as well. So the way that this works, actually I could probably do this here if I haven't already. I haven't already, so what I'll do is I will add this in Helmod as... Alright, how am I going to do this? We'll do this with Ash, specifically from Flugas. If I can find what recipe that is, this one. Uh, we'll do its Flugas from you, but it's also uh, no, not you. It's this one as well. So, yeah, there, there we go. These are the relevant recipes. Uh, we are outputting 15. Ash, but uh, in total. Uh, why are you not... Oh, it's because it's... It's the opposite direction. I want 15. I want... <laughs> Helmod, what the hell are you doing? I don't know what Helmod is doing. Why? Why you do this? Why you do this? Duh... I, 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 I hate this. Why? 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 Just, just why? This should be trying to calculate 750 flue gas. So it's trying to get 15 through this final recipe. It's not trying to get 15 in total. Is the uh, is the problem here? Uh, I I want it 15 total net. Oh, that that's matrix solver. Yeah, that's 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 a that's a thing that exists. Is the matrix solver? I should probably use that, huh? Like I should I should probably use that. Uh, so this is uh stuffs things that that exist um this still looks a little off i think it's because there's a percentage chance on the sin gas yeah it's a it's a percentage chance on the sin gas ash so why are you so this is telling me I need another 168.2 on the uh, coal gas in, but that's not how that works. That's not how that works. So this is not going to give me very much accuracy, very much accuracy. Um, instead, what I should do is switch it around. Now, why are you not giving me a tar input? It's not giving me an input, uh, an option to do. Yeah, there. That's that's what I want. Uh, 150. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. How much ash you get out of just 150 tar in th uh, through this. Look at how much ash you get with just 150 tar in out of doing this uh, by adding oxygen. And part of the reason for that is you loop about half back of the tar to make more coal gas. 
Uh, so what I've done here, I don't have f 14. I have 12 gasifiers. I have one to three, I think. I think. That's what I've set up here. No, uh, four. One to four is what I've set up here. So actually I have 16. 16 of these. No, 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 no. I've, I've, I've three and 12. I've three and 12. That's, that's what I've set up here. Three, 12, and, uh, eight. Six. Three, 12, six. That's, that's what I've set up. Let's, let's, com let's compute by factory. Let's compute by factory. I have three. I, I said I have, I have. All right, I'm, I'm not, just die, die. Goodbye, Helmod. We're not, we're not going to use you for now. Just finish, do logistics. Logistics, finish this fast and let's get to Ulrich. Let's get to the Ulrich. I want the, I want the Ulrich. Ulrich must happen. Ulrich must happen today. Wait a minute. What did I, what did I, what did I do? What did I do? I did something wrong. Oh, I absolutely did something wrong. Yeah, good, goodbye. Just <laughs> move all that. Ah, stuffs! The inventory! No! Stop! The inventory, no! Oh. Give me stuff. Oh, God, inventory. My inventory. Here, take take some of this. So what I was trying to do was actually this. There we go. That looks a lot closer to what it should be. That's a lot closer to what it should be. Uh, so this will end up producing about, you know, 400 sin gas. Uh, in the end, it's like, well, this is going to be about 400 sin gas. Uh, thereabouts. Uh, what's 120 minus 250? That's that's a that's a good thing. Uh, oh, this is this is guaranteed ash. This is also guaranteed ash. I just wonder, what, what am I what am I thinking? This is this is 15. This is going to be 15 ash. I, I'm, 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 I'm saying this now. This is going to be 15 ash. There's, there's no, there's no percentage chance here, on this. Yeah, this, this is going to be 15. I am, I am making that clear. It will be 15. It will connect to there, and it will. It will overflow valve. Is what it will do. Where are my valves? Valves. Valves. You are my last hope. Car, please. Did I put my valves in here? I did not put my valves in my car. Off we go, back to the mall. Die. This one will take a while. So many rocks. So many rocks. Why? Why, Arendelle, do you require so many rocks in alien biomes? Why? It's all Alien Biome's fault, by the way. Just for reference, the, the reason why there's so many rocks is Alien Biome's is... J j just loves rocks. It just loves rocks. D loves having rocks literally everywhere. And that is problematic. 
Rocks are only useful for a very specific amount of time, and then they're not for the whole rest of the game. They, they, they just get in the way. Where are my valves? Valves! Let's find my valves. They're somewhere over here-ish, maybe? Why? So I haven't been making valves this whole time, even though I have the spots for valves. I I actually need uh, not the check valve. I need the underflow. Here, yeah, under underflow. Uh, yeah, I, I need you as well. You are going to be very important to me, underflow valve. I need at least one of you as well. Oh joy. Uh, circuits, small parts, steel. Auto saving. Uh, so yeah, some of these and some of these. Yeah, that'd be great. Car. Go. Let's let's not get stuck in my own pipes. That'd be that'd be great. So, Ash. Ash is a very important product. Uh, it's going to be a byproduct of a lot of stuff and things. But it's also going to be required for a few very specific things. Uh, so, the way I like to design my bases is not around the concept of depending upon other processes always moving aka using uh, byproducts of other uh, processes, uh, I prefer having dedicated production uh, for things. And this is officially going to be our dedicated production of Syngas, but it's also going to be dedicated production specifically for the Ash. This, the Syngas, is our byproduct here. That is the, the point I'm trying to make. The sin gas is actually going to be our byproduct. So 400 over 60, that's going to be seven of you. One more. Uh, by the way, uh, the rate of voiding of gas vents, and uh, sinkholes is up for dispute, but I always calculate it as 60 units per vent or sinkhole. That's, that's what I always calculate it as. It's 60 each. 60 each per second uh, as what they are able to void. I, I think it's not that exactly, but for all intents and purposes, I've never had any trouble setting it up, assuming 60 each. What do I need all the ash for? Uh, I'm going to use the ash in the Ulrich, just to make that point. It's ash for Ulrich. Uh, with the Ulrich food. I think it's required in the Ulrich food. Yeah, the Ulrich base food requires ash and thalagi mushrooms and wood seeds and Rilesia and tin plates and steam. So we're going to be making Ulrich base food to use for our caged Ulrich recipe. So that's what we're using this ash for right now. Um, but ash... Ash is used ubiquitously among a lot of the alien life recipes, including a Elysia recipe with manure. Ahem. Uh, ash is also required for Sermit, and Sermit is required in your Circuit 2 chain. So you will need a production of Ash uh, for your Circuit 2s uh, as well. 
Uh, it's it's also, you know, used to make fertilizer when you add bones and urea and biomass. And yeah, that's a not great recipe. Thanks. Thanks so much for that. Uh, not great recipe. Uh, let's see. Ten every five. Uh, Fifteen every five. Without. Without the ash. Uh, ammonium chloride. Yeah, that's that's expensive. Plus, why, why have ammonia and urea together, together as one in this wonderful fertilizer recipe that is incredibly expensive? Oh boy! Uh, and then biomass manure and zogna. Yeah, I no, no. I think I think fertilizer is just gonna be one of those things I'm not going to end up making uh, unless I absolutely have to. But yeah, the ash, it's it's used in lots, lots of lots of stuff. I can I can make limestone tiles as well with ash. Which uh I might just do. I might just do. Speaking of which, I need How much is this? Yeah, I need this. I need this exact setup. This exact setup right here. Preferably uh selecting all of the uh underground thingies. Yeah, this, this I need. Right there, there you go. Do the thing. Uh, preferably not have small power poles. Yeah. Ah, how convenient. Uh, thingy? Car, I know you have more of these. There you go. 